love that I know now. I can't let you go. Hey, Betty, could you sing some of that? Hey, Betty, right. Hey, Betty. I can't let you go. I love that song. You love that song, too? Hey, birthday yeah. girl. How you doing? Yeah. I'm glad. You know, I told him I talked with you early this morning. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> hey, Betty, is it cold? Get up with the chicken. Yeah, I had to get, you know, I had to get up with the chicken. How cold is it in Miami? Y'all been enjoying the cold weather? Oh, uh, we, 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 we doing all right now. For a little while, I thought we went to LA. What? Because you know y'all think y'all enjoy it. <laughs> you, you didn't have to pull out your fur coat, did you? No, I didn't have to do it. But I'll tell you, two weeks ago, woo-hoo! <laughs> You know, I landed in Jamaica and the people were laughing. They were. I had on the big bulky sweaters and the hats, and they were saying, well, "Girl, where are you coming from?" I was in Miami. <laughs> What's wrong in Miami? <laughs> hey, hey, it got really, really, really cold. Hey, Betty, yeah. I'm reminded when it, uh, when James T's mom was living, and I remember we was at her house, and it got real cold. She said. Joe, I forgot I had a heater. I got them all wrapped up in blankets and quilts around here, and she forgot that she had a heater down there in the, the Fort Lauderdale area back in the day. Uh, <laughs> back then. So what has Betty been doing for the world? Oh, child, trying to cut, cut some music to make a difference. Mm -hmm. you, know, I, you know, I see the palette, and the palette has basically got two colors mm -hmm. on it, and so I'm just trying to bring some other colors. I was telling somebody the other day, every song has got the same subject matter. So, you know, I just wanted to sing about something different. Mm -hmm. And I chose this time to sing about abuse. Because mm -hmm. it seems like they've swept that one under the rug. Yep. So, um, evidently, somebody wanted to hear it because it got a Grammy nomination. So, we thank God for that. Well, congratulations you know? on your Grammy thank nomination. You. You're in the company thank of who? You. Go and tell them, Betty. Who? Oh, Lord. <laughs> that singing R. Kelly. <laughs> uh -oh. that, that John Legend and Ruth. Calvin Richardson and I believe Brian Shaw. But you know, one thing um, I can truly say is I feel like no matter who wins, we are all winners because to be in the top five of anything that is not on America's Most Wanted, mm -hmm. that's a good thing. Oh, Betty, that's a good thing. And we know <laughs> it's your birthday today, so you've been yes, it is. enjoying your day? Yes. Yes, I am. Did yes, you, I did am. Did you sing Happy glad, Birthday? Did glad you... and proud to be still in the land of the living, my born day. Yes. Oh, did you sing Happy Birthday to yourself earlier this month? Yes, I did. Okay. And I and I, I love myself so much, I had to kiss myself on the hand. Oh, listen. Because at... I made it through another year. Listen at the right girl <laughs> on her birthday today. Yes. And I told them earlier, I said, I'm going to have to call her before I get out of here. I know Michael Basin is getting ready to come on, but... I wanted to uh, wish my sister and my friend a happy birthday and good luck Thank with the so Grammy because I know it's going to happen. And on your birthday, I yeah, just like you to can shout him out too because he needs to use that song in his program because he does a lot, a lot of stories about abuse. Hmm. So that's one that simply says go. It says go. And Betty, I yeah. want to say a little prayer for you today, if I can. Yes, Father, absolutely. Father, I thank you that behind history and especially behind the part of history where I live, your hand is always working for my redemption and your glory. Give me faith to ride out the difficult times, knowing that you will use those difficulties to be the incubator of your next great work in me. In the name of Jesus, the joy of angels, I pray for Betty Wright today. And Betty, you want to introduce your song that's up for a Grammy? Woo! I tell you, that prayer was all right then. So you went on up in the upper room then. I had to go to the upper room for you. Yeah, you, know. you did. I like that. I love that. And thank you so much for that prayer. I just want to say to every sister, every brother that is in a relationship that has started uh, passing licks, and I ain't talking about laying on the hands like when you're praying for somebody. Mm -hmm. But if it's going in that direction... You can't get any help. You haven't uh, sought counseling. Your friends have been telling you that y'all got to separate. Um, you know, maybe it's a good time for you to just, you know, separate so you can see what time it is for real. You know, it might be time to go because, you know, you never know what the next step is. You never know when tempers are raging and if somebody brings out the worst in you, 
that might not be your life partner. You may love them as much as you know love, but it just might not be your life partner. So, if that's your option, you can stay and maybe not make it. Or you can leave and maybe later on God will bless you to be delivered and maybe y'all can reconcile. But uh, not a good sign. Fight. On her birthday. Happy birthday, right girl. Thank you so much. So Cecil. Oh, there you go. Um, For a lot of people, this is a touchy subject. But you know, we live in a real world and you know me. I'm not scared to touch the untouchable. I know all the doctors in the ER by name. All of the nurses know me the same. 